the classic points normally is done in a clockwise direction and you always start with the right hand and you move forward and you need to come back and close with the same hand. Now take the right hand and fold your thumb like this and you can see the line and where that line ends, that's the point. Now keep your massager on it and run it for like 30 seconds and gently press it. You don't have to press it too hard. Now once you do this for about 30 seconds, then you move on to the next point that's on your wrist. When you see the line, the inside of the point, not the outside, but the inside. Now this is where you do the second point. Now this is the heart meridian. The next is elbow point. Now when you fold your hand this way, you can see the line and where the line ends, that's the point. You can run this for about 30 seconds again. And when you're done with your right hand, you'll have to go back the same way. Just follow the, the clockwise movement. And the next point would be, again, your left elbow. And it's the same point where when you close your arm, you can see the line and that's the point. And that's for 30 seconds again. And when you're done with that, come back to the wrist. And you can see when you see your wrist, you can see the line. The line, the point that is inside, not on the outside, on the inside. Now when you're done with that, then you go back to this point where when you fold your finger and you can see the line, that's the point. Now when you go down to the left leg, you see this point, put three finger breadth and you can feel the same point over there. And that's the spleen six. Now when you're done with that, now move down to the feet, take off your shoes, your socks, you can find between the toe, that's the point. You will stimulate that point for 30 seconds. Now when you're done with that, now you move to your right leg and the same point, you start with that. Again, remember, it's always the clockwise motion. So it's the same point. When you're done with that, you move to the ankle and the same way, you can see the highest point from there, place three finger breath and you can see the bump when you run your finger down and that's the point. And mind you, this point can be slightly tender, so be careful when you're doing with the kids. Don't press it too hard, otherwise they won't, they won't like it most of the time. So be gentle with the kids. And here's another tip for you. When you're working with the kids, now for an adult, it's three finger breath. But for a child, try to use two finger breath. And you should be able to find these points in the same place. And now, to finish up, you'll have to come back to the same hand where you started and you need to close the point. And this completes the circuit of the energy.